mighty conqueror of the Atlantic, the heart's content, more appropriately called the flying gasoline tank, gives the crowd a thrill, fish tailing to earth at Roosevelt Field. And Captain Mollison, the only one who has succeeded in making a solo hop westward across the Atlantic, lands amid the lusty cheers of thousands. What do you want me to say? I just, I'm naturally very glad to be here in America. I was certainly very and glad to see you, sir. Then I'm going back, I'm flying back soon. I'd rather stay here and enjoy myself and see a country that I've always wanted to come to and that I've admired for a long time. Captain, you don't, you don't know how soon before you may go back. What then? Uh, as far as you've seen America, it's been very, very brief, truly a bird's eye view. Well, but how does this part look to you? It looks good. And they're friendly, aren't they? Well, this is my first sight of America, so... Well, we hope that you have frequent sights of it. Thank you, Captain Morrison. <laughs> Local storms all through the night, and I saw nothing until about an hour before daybreak, when the fog started to break and I saw the coastline of Newfoundland. And I need hardly say that I was very glad to see it. Captain, tell me, when do you anticipate going back? Yes, I'm uh, just going there, thanks. Well, I can't tell you the, the date except that I'm going back very soon. As you know, I've just been married a short time, so... <laughs> I have been asked to say a few words to my wife. And um, if she sees this reel, I hope... Um, well, I just want to tell her that I have got here, as we both decided I would do. And I hope to fly back and see her in England again soon fact that after my engine has been taken down, it has been found to require no replacements whatsoever and to be in perfect condition, in fact just as good as when it left England, is a tribute to the manufacturers and to the excellence of British products. I just want to take this opportunity of thanking all those people in England who had confidence in me and who helped me to prepare this flight. Amongst them, of course, my wife, who, being an aviatrix herself, was a great help. <laughs>